All right, what if the coolest flip phone is coming, but we don't know who made it? Because yes, we have uh, some new leak renders of what a flip phone should be, but is this made by Motorola or is it the next Galaxy Z Flip? It seems Samsung is still trying to figure out what to do with the S Pen on its next foldable, and what if Qualcomm had the next batch of flagship chips a lot earlier than expected? I'm Jaime Rivera, and your guess is as good as mine as to why the news are so packed today. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today are non-existent, but let's start the video with Qualcomm since we have new information about the release date of their upcoming flagship chipset. According to a new report by Digital Chat Station, Qualcomm is releasing the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 a bit earlier compared to its predecessor. So far, there's nothing specific here, but we can expect the new chipset to arrive in October of this year or early November. Digital Chat Station also reported that due to the early launch, we will most likely see See the first smartphones powered by this chip before the end of the year. And we don't have any more information about its specifications, but it's likely that the chip will come with further speed, obviously, improvements in efficiency, as well as the updated Snapdragon X75 modem that the company announced, uh, I don't know what, last week, which brings the latest 5G advanced. We'll see how that goes. And speaking of chipsets, let's move on to Oppo because it seems like the company is making moves to finally launch its own SoC as soon as next year. The company already has its own NPU Marisilicon X and a connectivity chip called Marisilicon Y, but now reports suggest that the company is ready to take the big step and finally launch their own chip. The report mentions that the design process of the integrated circuits is already completed and that the product is ready to be sent into manufacturing and as for who will be in charge of making it, well, it seems that apparently they're partnering with TSMC now. Finally, according to MediaTek executives, Oppo's main goal with this chipset is to retain its competitive edge. Now, what's interesting is that uh, we all know how the chip wars are going, particularly for Huawei, so I'm hoping this doesn't bring a twist to them. We'll see. Now let's talk about Samsung since we have some new contradicting rumors about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. As soon as the Z Fold 4 came out last year, reports about the upcoming model started to surface. One of the most interesting reports was claiming that the Fold 5 was finally gonna feature a built-in S Pen slot. However, new information coming from South Korea states that Sammy was considering adding the slot during the design phase, but decided it would be too thick for the device. The Galaxy Z Fold 5 will reportedly have have a new hinge design that will minimize the crease and a different internal arrangement, which could also make it almost impossible to add a built-in S Pen slot. The report also mentions that the company considered making a slimmer S Pen uh, for the upcoming Fold 5, but decided that it would affect the writing experience. Honestly, why don't they just make it magnetic at this point? I mean, there are so many magnets on the current Z Fold 4 that it would just be great for you to be able to use them with the S Pen, but that's just me. And finally, fourth, the hottest news today, let's talk about a flip phone that we're still debating if it's the Moto Razr or the Galaxy Z Flip 5. See, bear with me, Evan Blast just posted on his Twitter account a few images of what appears to be a new flip phone with a very large outer display, if anything, taking up the entire footprint. He mentions no device name or anything, but it's easy to assume that it's the new version of the Moto Razr because it carries some of the DNA of the current model with the camera module design. Obviously, the major change is the cover display, which takes almost all the outer part of the phone, even covering the area around the individual camera cutouts. Where things get interesting is once you look into the second batch of images that show off how the company will adapt the software to the display, with two navigation buttons appearing on the lower left half and full-size notifications appearing above. But is it just me or does this look like One UI to you or not? And it could be that it isn't because the icons are not necessarily the same, but this is the reason why we're not sure who this phone belongs to. Anyways, these images seem to be unfinished renders of the device, but if it becomes a reality, that smartphone maker is onto something great. In today's question, let us know, I mean, do you think this is the Galaxy Z Flip 5 or the next Moto Razr? Because my money is set on the Z Flip 5 mainly because of the rumors we covered yesterday. But that's just me. We would love to know what you think in the comments down below. 
friends again. If you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PuckinNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me debate the obvious. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.